Krishna instills confidence. Who is Krishna? Can God manifest mortal characteristics or is he always superhuman? According to the Bhagavad, God is Krishna, who sometimes cries, displays genuine fear and is a naughty child. These are some of the activities of the Supreme Godhead that are sometimes overlooked. Janmashtami is a time for merriment. So we tend to ignore its deeper theological significance. And many who know Krishna's stories take them to be fairy tales. When Mother Yashoda caught little Krishna stealing butter and feeding it to the monkeys, she threatened to beat him up. At this point, the scared child cried real tears. When his playmates entered the mouth of demon Agasur, Krishna followed them into the great snake's belly because he couldn't bear to be separated from their company. Krishna had to kill the demon and yet save his friends. This was a difficult task. But after entering the snake, Krishna killed the demon Agasur and saved his friends. A doubt naturally arises. Why would the Supreme Controller let the boys enter Agasur's mouth in the first place? The Bhagavad's answer is that the boys had ascertained the peril of entering the snake's mouth but had decided Krishna will save us even if it meant literally rescuing them from the jaws of death. Krishna's mortal characteristics, even when contemplative, tend not to be thought of as the province of an all-knowing, ever-present, all-powerful Godhead. This is one of the inner meanings of Janmashtami.